Hi there, it's David Green, CEO of R3 Stem Cell International. My goal today is to show you exactly what the experience is like when you receive treatment at R3 International. I just arrived at the San Diego airport. I flew in from our headquarters in Scottsdale. You can see, actually I'll flip this one. So you can see I just got in here. San Diego is beautiful, by the way. Um, and I'm waiting to get picked up just like a patient would and then we'll go to the clinic. All right, so we're headed into Mexico, just like a patient would. I'm actually here with Dr. De La Puerta. How are you doing? Doing good, doctor. Excellent. So basically, um, I know that typically it's either uh, April or one of the other patient concierge reps will take a patient from the airport or San Diego proper over into uh, Mexico, but it's pretty quick, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really quick drive. It's about 20 minutes from the airport. Uh, drive, you drive south from the airport and you cross the border and it takes about five minutes from the border to the clinic. It's a really easy, easy drive. Got it. And you and I went to Genso. I know they have a perfect safety record since inception, and we have too. And that's one thing that I think has been very exciting is how safe these treatments are. Yeah, I'm 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 really happy with them because they're very consistent. You know, I've I've, I've worked with uh, two or three other other labs, and you don't get the same type of attention to detail that Genso has. I mean, they they go above and beyond what everybody else is doing because they want to make sure that their products are not only safe, but effective. Yeah, I mean, when, when we looked at the uh, science there, the, as they were doing the culturing, I was amazed that they keep the, uh, they actually check to see, oh, here's the border. Um, they actually check to make sure they're within the second to the eighth generation. So they're very po potent and powerful stem cells. Absolutely. I, I they, they go to, uh, they, they get third, gen we get third generation cells and what, what I like about it is that they don't they don't freeze them, so there's no cryopreservation. They keep them in their in their culture, and when we ask for the cells for each patient, the cells are brought out of culture and they're put in the vial and then sent to us alive. That's why we get such a good bioavailability of them because uh, when you cryopreserve cells, there's, there's going to be a little bit of a loss, so we don't get that. And another another positive point about this is that they, they also don't use preservatives so there's no preservatives in them and they're not cryopreserved so that, that that that's two things that I like and the third thing I like is that they also use bioidentical um, growth, growth factors which is also because they're not using synthetic growth factors or or bovine growth factors but bioidentical side effects are, are very mild and almost uh, non-present. If we do get them, I think the preservatives are, are the culprit of them. So I think that that the the fact that they don't use preservatives is one of the positive things that we do. But can you talk a little bit about some of the conditions that you've been treating over the years and uh, with R3 International? Well, absolutely, patients with most particular problems. So I, we, we do quite a bit of, uh, of intra-articular uh, injections, mostly knee and shoulder. We've had quite a few of, uh, of um, also elbow as well and others. Uh, and the rest of them are separated into two big two big uh, groups. One of the groups is uh, people that just want to get them for for general purposes, general general health. So I like that group because they're they're preventing. They're they're doing their job in preventing and, and using it as an anti anti aging treatment. And the other group is the the group that comes with uh, uh, chronic conditions. So chronic conditions, we've been seeing a lot of a lot of uh, kidney failure. We've we've seen a lot of inflammatory conditions like uh, rheumatoid arthritis. We've seen a lot of it. Uh, so uh, inflammatory conditions such as that. And when it comes to uh, the organ types of issues such as kidney failure, lung issues like COPD, uh, well, 
types of results have you been seeing? What happens, I'm, uh, I can speak about, for example, uh, kidney. I've had patients with, with kidney conditions that came, came in with, uh, let's say, 28 uh, GFR, a GFR of 28. And after a few months of treatment, uh, we were able to, re, uh, to raise that to in the mid 50s. So for me, that, that, that's, that's, uh, that's success, because we have a patient in the upper 20s uh, of GFR and now they're in the mid 50s. Uh, uh, we may not take the, the, the label of kidney failure out of this patient because we can't, but we can certainly help with the quality of life. So where are we now? Right now we're at the Rio Zone. We are about two blocks away from the clinic. That way, we're just gonna stop by um, an office right here and then we're gonna drop by, by the clinic. All right, well, we're gonna pick this. We're gonna pick this video back up when we get to the clinic. But we've been driving for about eight minutes, so as uh, you can see, we're very close from the border to 